the ultimate badass. State of the badass art. You do not want to fuck with me. Private First Class William L. Hudson, USS Selico in 2179, en route to Hadley's Hope. Hey everybody, it's time for some more adventure with Pep's quick and dirty painting. We are obviously going to be visiting the aliens verse. I was not sure I was going to get this video out, but uh, luckily I got a little time to myself. So we cleaned the desk and we will dive into the project. So private first class William L. Hudson. Here he is in the flesh with his iconic tracker and pulse rifle. As many of these alien videos when it comes to the colonial marines, they look the same. I'm sorry that you've seen a lot of these back to back to back to back if you're following the channel, but I find it helpful to me at least to paint these one at a time. I'm slowly picking out more details as I move through the models and it just gives me a chance to sit here, zone out, talk about my favorite franchise which is Aliens and go over the characters which is what we're going to do today as I'm painting this model. As always it's a black prime heavy dry brush speed paints for the most part so let's get into it. Private First Class William L. Hudson was a combat technician in the United States Colonial Marine Corps part of the 2nd Battalion Bravo team. He was a member of the combat unit deployed to Archon aboard the USS Sulaco in 2179. Their goal to investigate the sudden loss of contact with the colony of Hadley's Hope. He was involved in combating the xenomorph infestation at the colony. Hudson was part of First Squad's gun team along with Private Vasquez. He was also the squad's leader, although Sergeant Apone assumed command for the initial operation at Hadley's Hope. Hudson was also designated First Squad's motion tracker operator. He was among the last to perish in the incident was taking Duran as a xenomorph ambush, likely to be cocooned within the host hive and impregnated by a chest burster. Oh, <laughs> what a horrible way for Hudson to go. He was such a comedian in the film. I love the actor. The actor is so good. So, he, oh, he was in Predator 2 as well. He's so good. I really like the actor. It's a shame that he's passed now. But damn. Hudson was a great character. Let's get into his biography whilst I'm painting this sand golem fatigues. Uh, Hudson was not a career soldier. He joined the Colonial Marines on a 10 year deployment, chiefly for the pension he would receive at the end of his service. With this money, he intended to open a bar. He dubbed the Tech Noir. Hire an experienced manager to run it for himself and retire on the profits. On his mission to LV-426, it was supposed to be Hudson's last, as he only had four weeks left on his deployment and was due to be honorably discharged upon return to Earth. As soon as he emerged from hypersleep, he began aggravating Sergeant Apone with his sarcastic comments. Following this, he moved on to Private Vasquez, inquiring, due to her muscular physique and masculine haircut, whether she had ever been mistaken for a man. She promptly shot him down by asking whether he ever had the same problem. During breakfast, Hudson acted as a ringleader in the Marines' attempt to get Bishop to perform his knife trick. Bishop eventually caved, although Private Drake volunteered Hudson for the trick by restraining him and pinning his hand to the table with Bishop's hand on top. Hudson could only watch terrified as Bishop performed the trick on them at blurring speed. During the briefing on what? might encounter at Hadley's Hope, Hudson again focused on aggravating the others, ridiculing Lieutenant Gorman for confusing him with Corporal Hicks and mocking Vasquez for being an illegal immigrant. Following the briefing, Hudson managed to incur the wrath of Apone once more by asking for a way out of this chicken shit outfit. During the drop, Hudson's sarcasm continued as he attempted to get his fellow marines fired up and in good spirits ahead of a mission that most of them believed would be a waste of their time. Hudson also mocked Ripley's insecurities, bragging that the team would protect her with their advanced weaponry and firepower. After landing at the colony, Hudson bypassed the door into the main admin building before helping to clear the ground floor with the rest of First Squad. 
after mistakenly identifying pet hamsters as a threat on his motion tracker, Hudson and Vasquez discovered the first signs of a xenomorph at the colony, coming across several large holes burned through the building's sublevels. With the building secured, Hudson began accessing the colony's central computer in the operations room, attempting to locate the missing colonists through their PDTs, which is like a tracking device. Before long, he located the signals gathered in the atmosphere processing plant and the marines set off to investigate. Upon discovering the hive within the structure, Gorman ordered all rifles to be slung to prevent gunfire from damaging the process reactor. Hudson was among the more vocal objectives. His protest was proven to be justified when the killing of a chestbuster woke up the entire hive, with Hudson picking up the movement on his motion trackers. The marines were soon set upon by a swarm of drones, one of which attempted to drag Hudson away before Hicks intervened, although Hudson was lightly wounded. Upon returning to the APC, Hudson was further injured when a xenomorph's acid blood burned his arm after Hicks killed it with his shotgun. Following the disastrous ambush, Hudson discovered that judging by their vital signs, Apone and Corporal Dietrich had not been killed in the ambush, but had instead been taken alive by the xenomorphs. However, he opposed any attempts at rescuing the two, an option backed up by Ripley, who insisted they were already being cocooned to be hosts for more xenomorphs. After a plan to escape the moon and destroy the colony with a nuclear strike was undone by the loss of their dropship, Bog Stomper, Hudson finally lost his cool, freaking out and insisting they were finished, with Hicks having to calm him down. The marines salvaged what they could from the wreckage and returned to the op center. Despite Hudson's continued hysteria over the desperate situation they faced, Ripley managed to calm him to the point where he was able to assist in setting up sentry guns and other defences inside the colony. When Ripley and Newt, the only surviving colonists, were attacked by facehuggers in the med lab, Hudson personally saved Newt. When Carter Burke was revealed as the culprit and his plan to eliminate the marines and smuggle the xenomorphs home was exposed, Hudson was all in favour of executing him for treason. Before the marines could hand out Burke's punishment, the xenomorphs cut the power to the building. Hudson briefly patrolled the corridors with Vazquez using motion trackers, but when they realised they were up against a huge force, they fell back and sealed the doors. The drones entered through the ceiling and attacked, and while Hudson managed to hold them off virtually single-handed for a time, another drone eventually pulled the floor out from beneath him. Despite trying to shoot the creatures and Hicks' attempts to save him, he was dragged away. Hudson's ultimate fate is unknown, though it was likely he was cocooned and impregnated with a chest burster. The chest burster later killed him when it reached maturity and birthed. Hudson was decorated for gallantry under fire for his actions on LV-426. Hudson's fate of being a host was not avoided by the detonation of the atmospheric processing reactor. Being cocooned in the sewers below the colony, he unfortunately survived the blast and was impregnated, dying to a chest burster when it birthed. Fourteen weeks after the destruction of the atmosphere processor, most of Hadley's Hope's colony, Hudson's well-preserved corpse was found by Corporal Christopher Winter from the USS Seraphora, still cocooned to the wall in the sewers where he had died. Hudson's personality Hudson was cocky and loud, determined to have the last word in any situation, whether he be cracking a joke or losing his cool over the desperate events on Archon. This behaviour often got him into verbal confrontations, both with his superiors and his peers. Prior to the disastrous ambush inside Hadley's Hope atmosphere processing plant, he was supremely confident of the Marines' abilities, citing their advanced weaponry and badass constitution as evidence that they could not fail to overcome anything they discovered at the colony. Hudson appeared as the resident funny man of the squad alongside Frost, always acting brash and making crude remarks whenever possible. However, Hudson's constant boasting and bragging turned out to be tinged with irony, as after the Xenomorph's ambush, he was quick to suffer from a nervous breakdown and was suddenly the complete opposite of the badass he had previously described himself as instead becoming hysterical, frantic, and paranoid. 
The fact that Hudson was so close to the end of his deployment likely contributed to this breakdown. However, despite his increasing distress, he ultimately regained his focus, if not his composure, when the Xenomorphs launched their assault on the operations center, fighting the creatures off with a ferocity not matched by any of the other marines. Despite his lack of cool, Hudson possessed a degree of ingenuity such as when he correctly predicted that the Xenomorphs may operate a society similar to that of ants with a single fertile female in charge of the entire hive. Hudson shared a love-hate relationship with Vasquez, who he exchanged a friendly rivalry with. The two constantly quarrelled and exchanged insults with Hudson usually goading her. Regardless, the two worked well as a team and would minimalise bickering during a serious situation. Hudson was outfitted with standard issue M3 pattern personal armor and an M10 pattern ballistic helmet for protection, with the TNR shoulder lamp attachment for illumination. He had notably customized his armor's chest plate with an image of a dagger piercing a skull and crossbones with the words or glory painted. Hudson had also stenciled a love knot in the name Louise over his art a reference to Bill Paxton's real-life wife, Louise Newbury, painted the phrase contents under pressure, dispose of properly on his armor's back plate. A pair of googly on the back of his right shoulder paint plate painted a magic apple on the back left side of his helmet and also added a can opener on his crotch protection. As the covering element of First Squad's gun team, Hudson carried the standard assault rifle of the corpse, the M41A pulse rifle, as well as the M314 motion tracker. Also, as a combat technician, Hudson carried a field technician kit in a trifold pouch on his belt, which contained various tools, wrenches, and electronic devices, including the ability to allow him to bypass sealed doors. Ooh, that was a lot of stuff on Hudson. Right, where are we in the painting? Okay, we've reached the flesh tone. So, so far we have done sand golem fatigue, the camo green body armor, grim black for his boots, uh, Gravelord grey for the motion tracker, and now we are doing crusader flesh for the skin tone. After that, we just have the hardened leather left to do for the strapping. I'll then let him dry up, we'll clean him up, we'll uh, get that base fixed and looking sweet, and then we'll be doing the glamour shots, so that really is it. Once again, I do appreciate when you guys stop by and listen to me just reading crap about <laughs> the alien characters. I love this franchise so much. If you enjoy it too, let me know, because I am going to be doing the campaign in the book. I'm not going to use the up to date rules because I don't have them, but I am going to just play through the book once enough figures are painted and uh, maybe we'll do some other fun stuff I don't know what that's going to look like yet but maybe use these in Space Station Zero things like that let me know if you want to see it also let me know if you want to see book reviews because I got the book series for the most part anything that you want to know about aliens drop it in the comments let me know say hi hit the like hit the subscribe and i'll catch you very soon in another video i think i'm gonna do the alien eggs next but until then cheers for watching <laughs>